My name's Sarah Ray and I'm a cancer survivor. I knew what was going on. I knew I was seriously ill. Probably just didn't know exactly what it was. Six months on intravenous chemotherapy and then a year and a half on oral chemotherapy. So it just meant like my hair fell out and stuff. It's pretty hard. But um, like all the other kids in my room had no hair as well. So it was alright when I was in hospital. Everyone was the same I guess. But um, going to school was hard. Because obviously like, no one else has seen a bald kid. <laughs> You're in hospital for six months and you just have chemotherapy through like a drip and then um, yeah it's pretty much intravenous chemotherapy and then oral chemotherapy is just when you take tablets and you can go home for that but you have to regularly visit the hospital. Sitting in hospital is quite boring. Like my sister still went to school and stuff as well so I missed out on that, so our days were a bit, bit bland, but it was, it was okay, it wasn't the end of the world. My mum was there every single day, and so was my dad, and my sister was really, really good too. Going in the park, running around, um, going to school even, being allowed out to see friends was a thing that I missed, yeah. Like everyone thinks it's the old people that get it, but now younger people do as well. It's probably easy to get through it when you're younger, but um, like it's not something I think about every single day. I just take each day like normally, like everyone else. But um, things like relay for life, and if someone's like, oh, they've got cancer, and I understand more what they're going through, and that, and yeah, a bit more positive outlook on life, more probably definitely keep positive. Don't think of the worst. You'll have, probably have lots and lots of family and friends around you as well. Just keep talking to them. Yeah, just go back every like, it'd be three months, four months and it'd gradually build up until now. It's like two years. And you just go back just for a general checkup. It's not very long, it's probably about half an hour and then you just carry on your day as normal, yeah. like a normal 17 year old going to school. <laughs> yeah, just studying, getting good grades. That's about it. Yeah, looking forward to the future. I just go out with my friends now. Now I can drive, go sushi, and oh, I like going diving as well out in the outer reefs. I go diving with my dad and I go running sometimes on the evening, go to gym. It's not something that like just pops into conversation. And they or sometimes a lot of them feel awkward about it as well. Because like no one really knows how to take it sort of thing. I've always been in Relay for Life. I've always worn like the survivor's sash and stuff. I didn't take it off during the night. And um <laughs> so I got noticed from that and they approached some of my teachers and asked what kind of person I am and if I'm comfortable to speak in front of people and they were like, yes, yes, yeah. And then um yeah, my mum just said that she got a phone call asking if I would like to do it and I was like, yeah, okay, sounds good. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> it's like a massive compliment to be asked to do this and I'm proud to do it as well.